after having studied multiple regression, the question can be, is there other methodologies that exist in the literature that enable us to uh, make approximately the same thing as regression? That means uh, calculate the effect of different factors on uh, an answer, an output y. We have already seen that uh, there are several possibilities. Uh, multiple regression is one possibility. You can have linear multiple regression, nonlinear multiple regression. You may also have non-parametric regression. Hmm? And the first case of non-parametric regression was the k nearest neighbor estimator that we have seen in a previous video. But there are other techniques, so many other techniques. And a popular technique that we are going to see now is what is named neural networks. Hmm? Neural networks is another technique like nonlinear multiple regression. We are going to, to make that more clear in the next steps. This is a method which can be used in regression problems studying an answer, an output, a continuous output as a function of factors. But it can be used beyond regression, in particular, for example, in classification. The idea of neural networks is to try to construct a methodology which works similarly to um, the way the brain works. That means that you have neurons somewhere uh, and you have synapses somewhere. Hmm? So you have, for example, neurons that are represented here by some balls. Hmm? Here you have x1, x2, x3, xp here. Neurons, and you have here other neurons that we name Z1, Z2, Z3, Z4, and you can go up to, let's say, Zm, and you have connections. between these neurons. You have connections and these connections can be seen as synapses. That means that the different neurons are going to correspond together through these connections, through these synapses. And at the end we have the output. We have the output Y, which is also, let's say, a neuron. And that is connected to the different uh, neurons of this layer here. Therefore, this is the answer. This is a continuous variable in the case of a regression problem. In the case of classification, let's say you have capital K classes. In that case, you would have here K neurons uh, corresponding to Y1, Y2, Y3, Yk corresponding to uh, each uh, of the K classes where it's possible to find uh, the output of the problem. This is what we name here the output layer. Here we have the input layer, input layer, and here we have a hidden layer. Hmm? This is a very simple case of neural networks, of neural network. If we have an input layer, an output layer, and a hidden layer. But we may have 
several hidden layers. Here we understand that the input layer corresponds to the different covariates, the different factors are here. The different factors are combined together to make new factors, new z, z, these are new variables, we are going to make that more clear in some seconds, and these z combine together to provide the output.